Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Planet Becky. It is so good to have you here and welcome back to the basic build series where we are building an enclosure or habitat for every animal within the Planet Zoo game. We are starting off with the base game animals. There are a lot of them and then we are working our way up to the DLC animals as well. Um, maybe by the time that we finish this series I might be able to upload as soon as the new DLC comes out but that is a goal for the future. We have a lot of animals to get to before we get to that point. I very quickly want to have a little personal message to you guys from me. I want to apologise basically. I've not been super consistent with my uploading um, and there have been some personal stuff going on. I got COVID just after Christmas so I was really really sick and um, I recently just started a brand new job so trying to get back into the routine of working again doing that nine to five it's actually been really exhausting um, so I've not been focusing so much on my content creation I have been focusing quite a bit on learning my new job and just trying to catch up on a little bit of sleep um, so I do apologize for that hopefully going forward though We will be way more consistent with uploading um, I do still need to come up with a bit of a schedule for Uploading and what days I'm going to be streaming on just to kind of coincide with my new job and doing things like spending time with family because Though all of those sorts of things are really important to me. So um I'm not saying that content creation isn't important, but I'm also very much aware that I do need to be spending time with family and things like that. So I do hope you appreciate that and are aware that YouTubers do also have lives. Um, so yes, yeah, so this, back to the video, this enc enclosure here is for the Black Wildebeest. I didn't really know what to do for the Black Wildebeest this time. Um, I kind of struggled a bit on knowing kind of what to do. Um, so I decided with this build, I would just try and keep it a very much simple build. Um, because I think that always works a lot better. Um, once again here, I am struggling with building the actual buildings. I really always struggle with the roofs. I always find they either look a little bit janky I don't know if that's a natural word but that's the word I'm going with or they just look a bit near so <laughs> that is the reality of building in planet zoo for me sometimes things aren't quite how I envision them but for this enclosure I really wanted to keep it quite simple I didn't really want to go super over the top like I've done with some of the other builds in this series I really wanted it to be a very simple build because often when I see animals such as the black wildebeest in zoos, I often actually find that their enclosures are really, really simple. They're not super out there. They are often very simple and very easy enclosures they look slightly more like a deer park and that was the kind of vibe that I was going for I didn't want to create anything that was a little bit too out there um so yeah for the um main uh sleeping area here I just wanted a very oh look at that sunset Ooh. I wanted a really simple area um, making sure that those windows are one way so that your animals aren't getting super, super stressed. Um, I realised I didn't have to put the one way glass in all areas of this because obviously on the other side it's just where the keepers are. But I do think it does help lower the stress a little bit. Um, and plus, you know, I wouldn't want someone looking in on where I was sleeping. I think that would be a little bit weird. Um, so yeah, obviously with the training things, you're wanting to look at your animals and see what they actually want. 
Now I had an idea in my head for these trees and for this enclosure. So at one of the um, zoos that I often go to, they have like an, a, a range of trees. Often they're quite tall trees. There'll be things like oak trees. Obviously in the UK, you have to have a tree that will function in the UK. Um, but they often have these like barriers going round the tree to kind of help with um, the animals not destroying the trees with like chewing off the bark or like head butting it and things like that. And so I don't know if this is common in other countries as well, but in the UK I feel like we often get these sorts of tree protectors I want to call them. But I knew for this build, I wanted to make it a little bit more personalized and everything like that. So I really like these painted ones because they do give you a little bit of freedom on how to how they look, basically. Um, once again, there's me struggling with making a circle. I know that I probably could have done this with two or three or four of them. Um, yeah, that's just not how my brain likes to work. Um, I just think they look really good. Um, once again, just changing it into that brown. I did this on all of the trees. I do think it does make it a little bit realistic. We we have these a lot in the UK. Um, I feel like we even have these in parks where there aren't any deers, just to kind of protect the trees a little bit. I'm not really sure what the history behind that is. It'd be quite interesting. If you know, let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, it would be quite interesting to know that. But because we have these in like parks that you have for like kids as well. So I assume maybe they're also trying to protect it maybe from people climbing the trees. That would make a lot of sense. Okay, so onto enrichment. I pop down as much enrichment as I can in all of these basic builds because we have everything unlocked so we might as well pop down as much enrichment as we can obviously that enrichment tree over the back we're not going to put the protector around because we want them to interact with it and if it's got a protector around it we're not going to be able to interact now one thing i have kind of challenged myself more with in this series is the kind of gardening side of things i feel like i don't really know how to do much of the gardening i often go for very similar styles of planting of even the types of plants that i'm using i'd never seen these grass pieces i assume they came out more recently um obviously we're wanting to try and stay a little bit within the approved amount of trees and coverage um, I really love these grass pieces. I think they look so great. They just give it that authenticity that actually this is like a proper area. I really like the idea of putting it around the fencing simply for the fact of often when there's like a fence pole, often they're not going to be able to cut the grass in that area. I think it looks great. Um, we then ran into a bit of a snag where there was too much. So I went for it some small simple ones instead and hoped for the best with that um one thing once again that i've not been very good at is using things within the game to make things look a little bit more realistic like using plant pots i i don't think i've ever really used the plant pots in this game per se specifically these hanging ones um i'm not gonna lie this was a bit of a challenge i took me forever to try and work out how to get them correct um and get it all lined up and everything but i genuinely do think it actually turned out really really nice i i do hope that i can use these more in the future and using some more of these planters in the future just to decorate even now one thing i'll always say is that a roof looks weird if it doesn't have a trim on it um i think at that point i realized i used the wrong trim 
because it slanted down too much, but it's fine. Um, I do think a roof does look really weird if it doesn't have a trim on it. I don't, don't ask me why. I just think it does. One thing I am trying to do with this basic build series is use more pieces that I've not necessarily used before. Here's me searching for specific things because I can't, f I still struggle with finding things in this game because I don't necessarily know what they're called. So if you have a favourite piece in this game, please let me know what it's called and what you use it for. Here's me literally having to put down a, f a print to find a specific piece. That is how bad I am at finding pieces. I knew I wanted this piece right here. I knew it existed in the game. I just couldn't think what it was called. No idea. So if you have a favorite piece that you use consistently in your builds and you're like, she has not discovered this piece yet and it is incredible. Please tell me what it is. Like, help a gal out here, you know? Um... I, I do think just using these wall trims, I don't know what it is. It just gives it this little bit of not boring. You know, that's kind of what I was going for. I didn't want my builds to be super boring. I knew that I did want here. Th now, this is where I struggled here. I wanted like a window frame. Like a custom window frame. And I knew that I wanted it to be like that white colour the or like the concrete style to match the end pieces of the walls and then I started placing it around and it just didn't look right it just looked weird so in the end I just went with like a windowsill um I do wish there were more pieces that are a little bit thinner or I've seen in a couple of other games where you can manipulate the size of pieces that would be really cool. I knew that I wanted a screen up here. Look at me trying to place up the largest screen in. If you've used that big TV screen or projector, what have you used it for? Because it is humongous. Please let me know. Um, obviously, you got to get the education in. Um, got to make it look pretty with all the education. I would like to be able to start creating a few more education pieces. But once again, it's a thing of... I just need to learn how to do this. This is me trying to work out why they're unhappy. It turns out they just need more peeps. I, I mean, I get that sometimes. In they come, bam, they're happy. Um, I decided I'd pop down a couple of staff areas here just to kind of help out with how far the staff need to run. Uh, because obviously this is just a basic builds um, zoo. You'll see in the background over there the elephant house, which you can see in a previous video in this channel. Um, definitely go check out all of the other builds as well. Okay, so this is how the build turned out. Do you know what? I was really happy. I popped a little Vista point in here as well. And I actually think it looks really good. I was wanting to go with a simple build for this one because not all of your builds in the game need to be these super extravagant builds i do think sometimes a really simple and basic build as this series is called makes a very very effective build here you can see them all just hanging out it looks so good this build um yeah, I just, I could sit here in this game and watch the animals go for hours and hours. Anyway, it's time for our fun fact. I didn't forget. So our fun fact for this animal is that during cold weather, black wildebeest lay down to rest, but in hotter conditions, they rest while standing up. And I find that really weird because when it's really hot, I like to take a nap. I, to be fair, I am one of those people that does not cope in the heat at all. I would just sleep all the time. Um, I am a cold weather gal um, through and through. Yeah, I'm so happy with how this turned out. I think the black wildebeest are just such a chilled animal as well. They can get a little bit stressed 
Um, guys, thank you so much for being back and watching another Planet Becky basic build video. I appreciate every single one of you and I will see you in the next one. Bye friends.